In this video, let's find the coordinates of the point on the plane Z, which is 4x plus 4y plus 3, which is closest to the origin. So here's my origin, x, y, and z has the origin with the coordinates 0, 0, 0, and the plane. So which point on the plane, this one, or this one, or this one, give us the closest point to the origin. So we are going to be minimizing this distance, right? So that's why it's a global minimum problem. Minimization problem. Solution. To start with this problem, you need to remember the formula of the distance. We're looking at the distance between 0, 0, 0 and a point x, y, z on the given plane, which is z equals 4x plus 4y plus 3. The formula, let's put it in green, d equals x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared. That's the formula between two points. Maybe I should write down y x1, x2, y1, y2, z1, z2. But in this case, not only it's easy because these are zeros, but also x, y, and z will be coming from. So let me write down like so. It's going to be a square root x squared plus y squared plus z squared, where x, y, and z are from the plane, so they have relationship. That if you multiply x by 4 and multiply y by 4 and then add 3, it gives you z. Does that make sense? So we know the relation be between this. Well, let's square d. That's a typical idea to how to get rid of the square root and then keep working with what we have. So I'm squaring d and I'm squaring the right hand side, which and thus the square root. So now I'm having x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Makes sense. This is basically the most important step we just did. But z is given. Do you see it? Here it is. z is 4x plus 4y plus 3. So d squared is actually x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 4y plus 3 squared. You can simplify all of this. I don't want to. Why not? Because what is the goal? We want to minimize this distance. So to minimize. This is a minimization problem. This is optimization problem when we want to minimize this distance d squared. If there's a theorem that says that if we're minimizing d squared, we're also minimizing d. So, to minimize means to take a derivative, find critical points, set them equal to zero, right? Find derivative set equal to zero, work with critical points. Then I will just use chain rule. I don't want to simplify the square of that blue part. Let's find partial derivative. Let's call this function f, just for convenience. So it's going to be f with respect to x. And then we're going to have 2x y squared gives you 0, plus 2 goes down, copy the whole thing for x plus 4y plus 3 times derivative of 4x plus 4y plus 3 gives you 4. This is my partial derivative with respect to x. Now it's easier to simplify, now have to deal with squares. 2x plus 8x. 2x plus 8x gives you... Did I lose something? I think, oh, times 4, right? And that's what I'm saying. So let me simplify. 2x plus 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 4, 32x. Right? Plus 2 times 4 times 4, 34y. Plus 3 times 2 times 4, is just 24. 
So it's going to be 30 with respect to x. So it's going to be adding together. I'm just checking with my notes. 34x plus 32y plus 24. I think this should be 32, right? That's what I'm checking. 2 times 4 is 8. 32, yes. Somehow my counting is keep getting... I need to count in Russian to make sure I don't do mistakes. That's why it always takes time. I need to translate. What is 8 times 4? I don't know until I translate it to Russian. Then I know. 84, 32. Yeah, that's true. So 32. And then I have to translate it back to English. So that takes time. So slow. Okay. This is my partial derivative with respect to x. And then you repeat the same thing with respect to y. Let's go back to the blue part. 2y plus 2 goes down. 4x plus 4y plus 3 multiplied by the derivative of the function inside, which is still 4. Simplify this and I will just give you the answer because I see it in front of me. 32x plus 34y plus 24. Basically, coefficients are almost the same. Now, we need to solve for zeros in DNA, in this case just for zeros. 0 and 0 to find critical points, right? So let's do step 1 is always finding the derivative to minimize or maximize. Step 2, find critical points. So when I start solving the first equation, this is the first one and this is the second one, uh, yeah, I'm just using uh, a quadratic formula, right? Oh no, let's just do it simultaneously. It's actually better. 34x plus 32y plus 24 equals 0. 32x plus 34y plus 24 equals 0. Now, you can actually subtract one from each other and see if it gets better. So 34 minus 32, some people even put a line like so, will be 2x. 32 minus 34 would be 2y. 24 minus 24 is 0 equals to 0. That looks a little bit easier. 2 and minus 2, right? Yes. Divide by 2x minus y equals to 0. That is a pretty good promising number. Now I can do a substitution method. Substitution method is when you solve for 1. So x equals y. And you plug to any equation you like. Uh, for example, equation number 1. Then it will give me 34y plus 32y plus 24 equals to 0. So this part will substitute it because x equals y. Actually, this part. But 34 plus 32 is 66y, which is negative 24 y equals divide by the 66 gives me minus 4 elevens. Okay, I'm not that smart. I just uh, see, saw the final answer, but apparently it is minus 24 over 66. And then you simplify divide by 6 gives you minus 4 over 11. But if y is this, then x also have to be the same thing because we just found that x and y are the same. So then, x is also the same thing. So we have a point. A point x, comma y equals minus 4 over 11 and minus 4 over 11. And it is the only critical point. So the absolute minimum exists since there is a minimum distance from the point to the plane, and it must occur at a critical point. This is our critical point, and it's the only candidate, right? So we don't have to actually do anything more. Uh, we could claim that what if this critical point, as you remember, critical point is just a candidate. So maybe this critical point is nothing. But that's not the case. The minimum point must exist. Look, look at the very beginning of the picture. There should be some kind of point. 
since there should be the point and the point should be unique and we found just one point minus 4 11 over 11 and minus 4 over 11 that is the one so no extra steps are necessary now but if you want to remember how to do it you should actually build d calculate d and check the sign and it should be positive and then fxx should be negative should be also positive to make it minimum if you remember that so but let's write down there is a minimum distance from the point to the plane and since there is it must it must occur at a critical point we found only one one critical point thus x y equals minus 4 over 11 and minus 4 over 11 that exactly this critical point it gives or not that's the location of global minimum and then how minimum this global minimum is do you know how to find that you need to plug it into the original function that's the last step we had step one we had step two step three when you justify that it is a global minimum don't forget to plug plug into the original so f of x and y which z will be for the original function multiplied by minus 4 over 11 plus 4 multiplied by minus 4 over 11 plus 3 is 1 over 11 so now you can write down the point x y z equals minus 4 over 11 minus 4 over 11 comma 1 over 11 and that is the final answer in my other videos please watch how we find maximum and minimum with restriction to the more complicated domains that's something you see here find the absolute maximum minimum on the rectangle on a circle on a triangle something like that so technically speaking this is the most easy part of the absolute or global minimum maximum topic of this chapter with partial derivatives into multivariable calculus thank you for watching and see you next time